Hello, hello to a new video. Welcome. The lazy cat is also there again. I just came back from a tax person, expert, professional that I want to hire for my side projects. And uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the legal framework and stuff that I'm setting up right now to be ready for some growth, hopefully for some professionalism and growth in the structure around the projects that I do. If you're new, welcome. If you uh, are not new, welcome back. This uh, channel and this video, well, let's say the channel is more about building stuff. And uh, this video in particular is about Trezor One, the app that you uh, see here on the screen. It's a portfolio tracking tool. Um, we'll go more into, let's say, a wealth management tool maybe at some point, but currently it's about stocks. And uh, this is where a lot of my free time is going in and I'm sharing um, the updates here too. I will share some numbers as well where we are currently at because we hit some milestones this week. Um, but let's get into the boring but juicy stuff regarding legal framework. Because if you're building a side project or something like this, at some point, if you make some revenue, um, if you earn the first euros, first dollars, you have to do this uh, too at some point. Otherwise, it will bite you in the ass. So because yeah, I I speak from experience here, um, but I have to do some disclaimer work, I think before because after all, I'm in Germany. Uh, nothing of this is tax advice. I'm no professional on there. Uh, none of this is legal advice, of course. And I'm only speaking from my experience in Germany. So some of that might be helpful and entertaining to you. But please consult some professionals in your country. Uh, to be able to help you there, I'm just warning to not ignore that kind of stuff. So um, here is the structure that I'm doing and why I'm doing it. Currently, the current structure is uh, I, I've put some Gewerbe, you know, I, I've um, uh, put a business, um, an official business on my name, my personal name. And uh, this is where currently everything works through where I pay the taxes, etc. But I'm still personally liable if there is anything. So the more professional approach is, of course, you create a new legal entity that is liable for anything. And um, it, it basically is detached from me personally. And I own shares in that in that business. This is the normal way, um, but it's a bit more complex to start with. Um, so that's why most people just, you know, start with something until uh, until the first money comes in and they know there is some momentum and some potential and then they can do this. So for Trezor One and also for Geoman, I see some potential there. So I want to put it on a more proper legal framework. In Germany, we have GmbH, GmbH. It's something where you have to put 25,000 euros in as capital. Um, you have to put half in immediately. So quite the expensive uh, start. And uh, there is a cheaper alternative, though, because um, a lot of entrepreneurs went to other countries to to um, found more cheaper company structures. So in Germany, you now have the UG Unternehmensgesellschaft, which uh, basically offers the same benefits, but it is much cheaper. Uh, you can start with that and later, you know, form a GmbH or whatever if you want to. Anyways, um, there are also two different kinds of, of companies. One is a company that holds asset. It's a holding. You probably have heard of that from many different um, corporations that have holdings. And you have an, a company that does more operational stuff. So this is the company that actually writes invoices to customers and they pay you. And the holding is just holding assets. So my ideal company setup and what I'm doing right now is I create a holding UG, holdings of the summit, of course. And um, I own this company. I own the shares in that company. This company does basically nothing except except for um, holding money and wealth, etc. It's a holding and it holds the shares in the next company. So then I found another UG, another UG, um, and it's owned by my holding. And this is actually the operational company uh, where I do all the products, etc. It's basically a playground company where I can start Tresor One, where I can start Geoman, where I can start other projects, all the bets and ideas that I have. 
uh, I can start in there. And once they have some momentum, once they show some promising results, once I want to get more people in or external money, then I will create a separate company next to my playground, for example, for Tresor One. And also there the shares are owned by my holding. And let's say I invest in a friend's company or I found um, I, I build a new company with three other people, um, then not I would own the shares there, my holding would. So overall at the top you have me, after that you have a holding and that holding holds all my shares inside the playground company, the different companies that I do for promising projects and other let's say bets and companies uh, that I might start with other people also. Um, so this is basically the structure that I start with and it has a few tax benefits in Germany um, which are the reason why I'm doing this and again no advice here uh, so I could be completely wrong. Do your own due diligence please. Um, so it, it's about how you distribute uh, profits from companies um, so if you put like profits from operational companies to another holding company, the taxes are very, very low compared if you would pay them out to yourself. Uh, that is the first thing. And if you have them in the holding, you can basically play around with them. You can invest them in real estate. You can invest them even in the stock market. You can invest them in other companies in the same company again, whatever it is. So you, this is basically where you can start distribute uh, some money and I basically will found two companies uh, now, uh, the holding and the playground company. And as soon as, for example, Tresor One is at a stage where I think I want more people to get in or it's at a stage where I know for sure um, it will grow more than a side project with uh, a couple hundred euros a month, uh, I will create a third company for this. Um, because if you have everything in one company, and then you get, for example, an external investor or you um, you have you want to give shares to employees or whatever it is. You, you bring employees in that everything is like messed up. It's not clear like which tools belong to which, which asset belongs to what product, etc. So it's very complicated and messy. So um, it's definitely recommended to separate your projects from a legal perspective also as soon as you know they get bigger. If they stay small, all of them, um, if you have like 10 very small bets, at least for me, this is where I, I use the playground company um, to handle all of this when it's a couple hundred euros a month. But as soon as, as this gets bigger, um, this will be this will be put into a separate company um, that that I will create for that purpose. So this is the legal framework uh, again quite some tax benefits uh, I might have I, I just mentioned it in one sentence but the tax benefits are actually huge uh, in Germany and uh, from what I know it's um, yeah a great setup to start with it's a great setup for future growth because I can you know create more products create more companies uh, do more with more people and don't have to change a lot of stuff on my personal structure it's like the foundation on which I can start to plant my seeds and hopefully grow some bigger bigger trees out of it. Uh, I hope this helps or gives, gives you some inspiration. Uh, I can definitely recommend some YouTube, YouTube channels here um, in German for the German legal system and tax system that helped me quite a bit. I will link them below. And um, if you found this helpful, or you know if you want to support the channel you know the drill like button subscribe all that good stuff uh, this has been it from an update no this has not been it i'm sorry i wanted to share some numbers because we had a milestone this week 500 euros monthly recurring revenue on trezor one <laughs> no this this is amazing this uh in when i started in january and did the first video here i was hoping to get one euro in 2020 um so Every day I'm hustling since that, since then, and uh, now we are at 500 euros monthly recurring revenue, which is absolutely insane and fantastic. And uh, yeah, I I told you in the other videos um, before that about Tresor One that this should be taken with a grain of salt. I think it will go down a bit because I relied so a lot of that growth in the recent recent month has been in the past month 
has been because I use promo codes quite a lot and I, I think we will have some churn there. Uh, so it might go under 500 euros again. Um, but nonetheless, uh, I think um, a lot of it will stick. We will see. I will update you, of course, quite transparently. Um, but 500 euros MRR is a big one. Um, really, really nice. And I couldn't have done it uh, without, you know, all the support that I'm getting for the product uh, from the users with the feedback every day uh, that I get with the people that enjoy using it, that like to help out. Uh, by now I'm building a smaller team and I will also tell you how and you know how what incentives I can give to those people, how um, we can collaborate on a product that only like gives you 500 euros per month in revenue, not even profit. So uh, stay tuned for that, subscribe for that. Um, but yeah, 500 MRR, pretty nice. Growth of uh, users, monthly active users and uh, visits is still not where I would like it to be. So the revenue grows much faster still than um, than the user acquisition. So yeah, still the focus or hopefully the focus, but uh, I know or I hope my users see that uh, this is not something that will slow down product development as I have uh, yeah did a big release yesterday and um, there are new features coming in basically every week and fixes. So um, this shouldn't be much of a problem, but still user acquisition is uh, the weak spot and uh, it's something I will and have to focus continuously um, during the next months. This has been it now. And uh, yeah, thanks for sticking with me and I'll see you in the next video. Hopefully we will get to 1000 MRR um, euros MRR in the next three months. Let's hope for the best and uh, see you then. Bye.